Good morning. Good morning to you too. He wants me to play with him. There is his toy. Good morning. Today is Saturday and I, for the past couple of weeks, my life was so hectic that I felt so demotivated. I literally did not want to do anything. And when you cannot do anything, when you don't want to do anything, the most important thing that you can do is to recognize that you are in that state and change that. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. Today I'm gonna be planning, I'm gonna be setting goals, I'm going to be working out and just working, pushing myself through that demotivation to finally get into the working routine. So if you are by any chance in the similar state right now, or if you just want to get motivated by this video, this is exactly the video for you. Now let's go walk my dog and get some breakfast. Also need to pick up some packages that I have received but let's see if I can do that again with the ID because I'm supposed to be registered for the app of the building but it takes two days and my packages from Amazon have already arrived so let's pick them up hopefully fingers crossed this is actually one of the gyms that we have I'm very I cannot wait to go there I ordered 50 hangers and um, a mop. It's finally the time for me to edit and to finish the video and to upload it because I haven't uploaded anything for 10 days, which is quite a bad thing for me and I need to work on my dreams. It doesn't matter what's going on in my life right now. I need to put myself in a position where I actually am putting in effort because otherwise my future self is going to be so disappointed in me. So let's spend these hours just trying to make this video perfect, posting it and done. Before I forget, I also want to get back into the routine of planning and actually setting up like goals for the day for myself. So I will do that because I haven't done this for a very long time and I really feel like it's helping me to stay organized. I'm editing video about how to start YouTube and I decided to dig for my previous videos on YouTube because it's not the first channel that I ever had and oh my god I'm just watching my videos from like when I was 14 years old right now screen recording them but look at this look at this this is me that is so interesting to watch actually how I changed oh my god uh, let me watch that more because Closing. Like they're literally closing. My head is so 
heavy. I think I'm gonna just edit a little bit more, go grab coffee, and right after that, edit more because I need my coffee. I need my coffee in. But I must admit that watching my previous videos when I was 14 years old was a very wholesome activity. I pushed myself and I finally finished the video. Even though I was half falling asleep at the beginning, I pushed myself and now I feel so productive and happy. So yeah, we can actually go for coffee and reward ourselves. coffee uh, but I also want to have my lunch in another vlog I think I, I think I already posted it I'm not sure um, I have prepared meals for the week so we're gonna eat one now that's actually very nice to have it because I don't need to wait for delivery and it's just tasty I think I'm gonna start doing this more often with healthier food choices fingers crossed procrastinating on doing my um, dishes so I need to do that now and then I'm thinking of going to the gym I am not registered in the app and I need to wait for a couple of days until they approve me so I cannot basically my dog is just being super bitey caught him uh, I cannot go to the gym I'm not supposed to but my friend I have her keys and I can basically go I can try to at least I need to do my dishes and then we're gonna get ready to go to the gym because I feel like I really need that it's something that makes me happy and gets me into my routine yes baby <laughs> today let's test my luck whether I can actually get to the gym without being subscribed to it Vamos. I forgot you <laughs> a few moments later well I guess I'm going for a run because they didn't let me into the gym because I didn't have induction so that is a very sad thing I love the area where I live right now. There's so many places to run around. And look, here's the Uber boats as well. I'm just enjoying it so much. I'm literally running and it's kind of raining and I don't know whether I should continue or wait a little bit because my headphones are not waterproof and I would really not want them to break in the middle of the run or ever again actually. Physical activity just makes me feel so much better about myself, so much better about my body and clear thoughts and it also motivates me is absolutely crazy. Like I ran 30 minutes, I didn't look at the kilometers, I think I ran 4.6 kilometers but oh my god do I feel better about myself. I feel like I took care of my body and I feel like I'm ready to continue working or whatever it is. So we have some plans for tonight. Basically, I need to uh, edit the thumbnail for the video for tomorrow. I need to post a couple of stories, but at 7 slash 8 p.m. Um, a friend of mine is coming for housewarming, which is exciting because I haven't done any housewarming yet and it's the first time in my life. Let's go shower and continue with our productive routine. I also want to set up my goals straight. This time after the shower, I just want to 
spent setting up my goals, getting motivated again, putting my schedule in for tomorrow and for the, what I want to do next week and making the space of the apartment associated with work. Let's go. I'm already back from the shower and all I want to do right now is I have here my iPad so I'm going to be um, working on my Pinterest board, adding some pictures from Pinterest to my vision board 2024 as well as I have my um, journal so I'm gonna journal my thoughts and I also am gonna put my goals in my planner. when journaling is actually like you, you don't want to do that and at some point you feel like it's not gonna work out like you're not gonna write even like a couple of sentences and then something happens something clicks and it's the best journaling session that you had in a very long time that is exactly what happened to me i just wrote to a four a five pages in my journal which was amazing i really like that so now i just want to add something to my vision board for 2024 get inspired again while listening to my favorite music Before I forget what I wanted to say, and I also have a friend coming in 10 minutes, so I just wanted to tell you that motivation comes when you're actually pushing yourself to do something that you require motivation for. As soon as you start doing the thing that your highest self needs to do, the thing that the person that you want to become supposed to be doing in the moment, you stop scrolling and you just sit down and do the work that requires you and that your future you requires you to do right now, that's exactly when you become motivated. That's exactly when you get back on track and that's exactly when the motivation hits. As soon as you feel yourself getting back into the old habits, getting back into scrolling, and you realize that that is not what is gonna lead me to the path of becoming someone who I really want to become and I'm just wasting my time, you have to realize that as soon as you decide, okay, I need to do that, you sit down, you push through the first 30 minutes, you are gonna feel like the highest version of yourself and you're gonna be proud. And proudness, that is what gonna bring you motivation. I don't know if it makes sense, but it's something that was on my mind for the whole day. Basically, something that I'm trying to focus on in 2024 is becoming the power woman. However, with class, I want to do content creation. I want to be extremely feminine. And I feel like she is the face of how femininity looks like. This quote really made me think about life a lot. Make yourself proud, fuck everyone else. That is exactly what I want to live by in 2024. I just prepared some berries and some chips. That's basically the only things I have. I also have waffles, so let's do that. I just left and it's currently 12 o'clock. I'm almost falling asleep, but I just wanted to conclude this day. I feel like me pushing myself to work more made me so much more motivated to continue. I'm just so happy. I'm finally aligned with my goals and I just feel so light right now. If I had to get one lesson from this day, it would be you have to start before you're ready. You have to start before you're motivated. Then motivation is gonna come. But you pushing yourself will make you feel so much better at the end of the day. I'm gonna go to sleep right now and see you all in the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>